That brings us to public comment, which is the opportunity for anyone to speak about anything not on today's agenda. Thank you to those who've submitted cards. Mr. Scott Largent, come on forward, uh, followed by Susan Bassey. Or in reverse order. Ms. Bassey, come on forward. You'll have three minutes to speak. Welcome. Thank you. As many of you know, my name is Susan Bassey. I've been a publisher and a member of this community for over 30 years. First, I'd like to start with an apology to Lori Smith. Um, a few months ago, when I started investigating some stories related to domestic violence, I was under a false impression of things that officers from your office had done when they had not, in fact, done that. So I personally apologize to you for any comments that I made that may have been my opinion and been misguided. Next, I'd like to um, ask the clerk to please copy records that I received from the Attorney General's office and also from the State Bar. And I would like to note that I think at this point in our community, the greatest threat to our public safety and our justice system is the conduct of several people in that system related to free speech and journalists. Patricia Lucas, you recently sat on the Judicial Council and you were privy to comments that were made by Mr. Largent and others that are going viral across the internet. People are talking to you about what is going on in our family courts. Those subjects have been completely ignored. In 2004, our county, our Santa Clara County Ground Jury, indicted Judge William Dancer for ticket fixing related to Los Gatos police. George Kennedy prosecuted that, and over 20 days, a jury of 12 of our citizens sat and found Judge Dancer guilty for PC violation 182A5, 96.5, and government code 8920. The district attorney's office in the county have been complicit, indifferent, and inefficient in their public records requests. I have had to go to other agencies to get these records. The fact that we prosecuted a judge and 12 members of our public found that judge guilty of ticket fixing traffic tickets, and we have done nothing as a society since then to investigate how judges in our courts are behaving is appalling. That issue involved the Los Gatos Little League and the Los Gatos Police Department. Patricia Lucas is aware that there are judges, Judge James Towery, whose wife is Karen Sununu Towery, a former prosecutor, issued a restraining order, which is now a permanent restraining order, against a woman who tried to bring forward child abuse and pedophile issues. They restrained that woman from speaking to Boy Scouts of America in Little League in Los Gatos. There is corruption in our county, and our district attorney is more worried about his public image and his opinions in the San Jose Mercury than he is about investigating public corruption, the lawyers in his office, and the judges who may be acting improperly in our county. I'd like that to leave this document, and I'd like to leave you all with a thought. It is very unlikely that Judge Dancer, whose wife is Catherine Gallagher, and who continues to preside over family law matters through jams, has simply evaporated the corruption in our community. Thank you. Scott, come on forward.